I was doing that for my uh, my records. I just want to see how the trend in AFRs is. Um, as you can see, the boots kind of shot up there. I'm um, registering around 34 pounds. So, I don't know. Hopefully, if I uh, race against a decent sized car, this 34 pounds might do well. But then, you know, on another given day, it's a little cooler out because I'm running an open loop. Um, another day with these same wastegate settings, I will run possibly, maybe it'll drop down to like 26 pounds. So this is why, you know, you have your closed boot, man, closed loop um, boot setting, waste, waste duty, yeah, wastegate duty settings. Sorry, it's 8 in the morning. But anyhow. Yeah, I'm just driving to work again <laughs> and tuning. But yeah, basically, um, I need to get my closed loop settings enabled, or you know, I, I enable it, but it's it, it acts real funky. Um, you know, I just haven't had time to sit down with it. But basically, once I enable that, I, and I say, oh, I have this set for this duty cycle, which should produce me, you know, I don't know, 30 pounds. No matter what the temperature is, it should stay around that. Um, I've been seeing around plus or two, or minus or two to um, BSI. So, I mean, as long as I can get a good figure, because it sucks when, you know, let's say you pull up to the race, you flip the switch, like, oh yeah, you know, I'm gonna push 30 pounds, and then next thing you know, you're only freaking pushing like 26, and you know, you lose, or something of that nature. Um, but then again, Let's see, my fan's just turned on, so the idol's trying to find itself again. But that's where I have her now. It, it goes up a little bit higher once the fans kick off. And my AFRs, AFRs lean out, which is the, uh, and this is the eagle control. It tries, you know, hitting your boost, I mean, your AFR target. Um, whether you're at, the only thing I don't like is because I put it for my boost region and it helped clean up the air fuels pretty good. But then, <clears throat> when you're, oh, the limit on that is like up to, I think it's 315 kPa, which equates to about 22 degrees, I believe, or maybe even 20 degrees, I don't know. Um, that's a figure you guys can, you know, figure out basically 315 minus 100 because you lose 100 kPa because we're at atmospheric level, and then you divide by, by 7, so that's how you get your boosts. Um, you know, you convert KPA to PSI and then just vice versa. If you say you want to, you know, want to know where you're at on 20 pounds, you do 20 times 7 plus 100. And then I'll get you your KPA value, which, you know, 20 times 7 uh, would be 140. And then um, add your 100, so at 250. I mean, sorry, 240. <laughs> I can't even do basic math. 240 on the um, boost map, depending, you know, what your X and Y coordinates are. But that is going to be 20 PCI. I have PCI, PSI. But anyhow, I did a little pull. Got to 34 pounds. It had clean it. It had actually pretty decent AFRs and what I expected. It didn't cut out, didn't blow out. Um, she felt good. Uh, you know, hopefully I can get it to stay like this, or if not, get the closed loop enabled, like I said. But yeah, I mean, for a car that's been around for four and a half years, and you know, I'm, I guess I'm, I might be, you know, getting close to the limits. Uh, probably my fuel system first than anything, but I mean, honestly, you know, 500. Uh, we're rear wheel horsepower car um, in a 2700 pound car you know that's pretty good um, you're not gonna be the fastest because next thing you know yeah I might you know beat a couple V8s over here but then let's say I go to fucking Texas 2k you know let's say Texas 2k 16 I'll get my ass handed to me easily so you know what I mean on the quest of always being the fastest or most powerful it ain't gonna ever happen because there's, you know what I'm saying, nastier cars out there, especially now if you, that's why you have your brackets, um, you know, in racing, like, oh, you know, oh, 
four cylinder class, six cylinder, because you do, you know, have to put like some type of restriction. But then it's pretty nice when you see a six cylinder, you know, like a GTR or something, uh, beat up on a LS1 or LS3 or LS7 or anything LS, LQ, LM. And you know what I mean? They got two more cylinders than you. So that's kind of the beauty with American cars um, versus Japanese. You know, they're always like, oh, you know, racing, racing. And then it's like you have a 2J. It's a straight six, you know, keeping up with the V8, you know, that's modified. But now, you know, these guys are getting on to boost. So it's a, it's a different ball game now. But we got some V8s in our Japanese market. You know, you can go get yourself a VH45, you know, that's Q45 motor. Or, if, you know, I don't know how well the, I believe it's a VK, or no, sorry, it's a VH41, which is basically just, it's probably de-stroked, or maybe a smaller bore, I don't know which one of the two. Um, so it's a 4.1 liter V8. Then you got the good old Titan, haha, <laughs> I um, believe that's what, a 5.7 or 5.6? And, yeah, I mean, we have some nice uh, Nissan V8s out there. So, I don't know. Anyways, I rambled on enough. Just boring the shit out of you guys. But, yeah, hopefully I can get some new video. Um, what do you call it? Uh, with this baby, you know, working like she should. But, alright guys. Like.